card holder money. Yeah, yep, I agree, I agree. Okay, nice one, nice one. Good answer. I do like the effort, though. This is this is well done. Good answer. Good answer. All right. Good. Despite us butchering it. The next one was. <laughs> it was actually well written. The, yeah. The next. Yeah. We we just change it completely and we're in. All right. Welcome back to the Anime Summit Podcast. It's your favorite host with the most Sam, the bomb. And with me every week, of course, is Danny. Woo, woo. Hello. Knock. You know what they say, when fighting a clown, always go for the juggler. And the juggler. <laughs> and with <laughs> us this week, from the plummet, came all the way up from the plummet to the summit, Mike Hittier. Yeah, you tell you tell the German co- drama queen. I'm gonna get. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. Hi, thank you, thank you for helping me today. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Did Mike ascended with the Zelda ability we had, from the caves. We had to. Yeah, uh, I oozed through the surface. Yeah, you oozed. <laughs> Everyone's talking Zelda talk because Tears of the Kingdom came out last weekend. Oh, so. we gotta hurry so I can play Zelda. Uh, so, anyways, if I was to feed cats. we are here with another edition of a Shark Tank. But this time, we're doing Isekai's Reincarnated as a Shark Tank, where we had y'all pitch us, uh, you know, your idea for an anime that would be an Isekai, and we're going to tell you if we're in or out, if we're going to invest or not, okay? And uh, I thought this was going to be really funny. And Mike, you know, being one of the plummet- the plummeters and also just really loves Isekai's, it's perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect for Mike to be on the board on this one. I love them. Yeah. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Over yeah. there. <laughs> Let me just cover myself in this filth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it's going to be fun. So, I mean, without further ado, let's just jump in, okay? Links.animesummit.net. That's where you can find everything where to follow and stuff like that. There's also a link for Anime Plummet, but they got their own link tree as well that we you do? can hit. Yeah, what's that link tree? Is it just links.animeplummet.net, or is it... It's uh, like the uh, weird link dot T-R-E-E. Where's King? King! 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 <laughs> King always knows it. Let's just get a recording I think he's, I think he's busy getting high somewhere right now. I, I, yes. Professionally, we should have something like that. Don't ask. I'm not... That's not me. That's that's King, usually. But there is a link to the plummet in our... Uh, yes. Uh, Freaking... Uh, thing there okay yeah links.animesummit.net yes of course and then also in a couple weeks uh we are doing our show swap episode i traded uh sakura tyson to danny and she traded me nana so if you guys want to be there when that happens like watch those two shows before it comes there uh you know so then you can follow along uh please do okay nana's 47 episodes i think there's a couple recaps thrown in there but like and then Sakura Tyson's like your standard 23, 24, 25. I think it's like 25. But, um, and also, uh, let me just do this. Let me check for anything on the Spurtifer. No, there's no, there's no Spurtifer. Uh, you should guys should leave Spurtifer answers so we can read them on the, the, uh, the show. Cause I like reading those on the show as well. That's Spotify, just in case you didn't know. Spider- yeah, I, yeah sorry, Spider. I was a little confused too, but yes, Spider Man. Spotify. So you can you can leave comments or questions, or I believe answer. If we leave a question, you can leave an answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've started- also, for the record, there's no anime named Madaka Majaka. <laughs> Wait a second. They're not actually mango chutneys. Mango chutney. We should make that like a like a food thing. Copyright. Yeah. No, mango chutney is already TM a trademarked. Too late. That's why. That's why I stole it from. Anyways, I'm also going to tell. Ta- huh? You just make it. You just make a chutney and throw mango in it. Um. Anyways, uh. <laughs> also, let me tell you about this. So check that out. All right. God damn it. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Question of the week, Nick. What do you got? All right. This is from Ty, and he asks. If you're able to make your co-hosts watch one anime of your choosing, what would it be and why? Yeah, this is a good question. This is what our show swaps are for. 
but like um so are we trying to punish them or uh no re- i think reward it's just them? i think it's just is it a carrot or a stick no i don't think it, i don't think that matters it's just one that we want the others to watch and i would i would love if like because the, the 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 boys at the plummet the guys at the plummet do they once in a while do these retro reviews which is nice mm-hmm. because you know i feel like i don't get to do that that often with these yutzes over here um so like I would tell them to watch Nadesco because I don't like nobody seems yeah. to like it. The only hope I have left is one of those yeah. four. That's Martian successor Nadesco. Martian successor Nadesco. One of those four will like it or Danny will like it. And I just gotta get them to watch it somehow at some point. I didn't want to trade Danny Nadesco because the one I wanted to trade her for the show swap coming up was I wanted it to be one from the two thousands, so to add to our two thousands decade list, you know? So that's why I didn't yeah. trade her that one. But so, f- fun fact about Nadesco, when I started listening to the podcast and Sam, you were talking about Nadesco, I started watching Nadesco. <gasps> and then Danny gave up because it sucked. Because that show well, sucked. I never finished it because <laughs> I moved on to other things. Like Because seasonal. that show sucked. Okay, Sam, extra <laughs> life said that. for this year. We're going to. We're both going to have plastic models from Nadesco. Uh, thanks. Shout out to the Good Smell Company for producing kits for those. Oh, did you did gonna, you order some of that the Kodo? Yeah, or, yeah, 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 yeah. The one, the the pink one and the blue one. Motoroid. Um, Motoroid. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so we should we should do a twin stream of us building it while while binging the series. Oh my god. <laughs> Playing on the podcast. Everyone Playing a, on the podcast. Such a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Take a drink. Yep, that's happening. That's happening. That's happening. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Right. I did it on Ami Ami. So like, I don't know why. Yeah, I did but, too. So oh, okay. We should, we, so we should get the well. Uh, if we get them, we'll see. Anyways. Well, yeah, because we'll you talk. you package your stuff with other stuff. So, but like. Yeah, and and I I've been shipping it via sea because man, in this economy, who can afford EMS or DHL? Oh, in this boy. in this economy, dude. Jeez. Oh my god. Um, so, anyways, what about you guys? What what, are, what about your answers to the to that question? Nick is we're I'd... excluding Mike, right? No, Mike is he's on the episode. <laughs> no, Mike is included. He's on the I'm episode. Just what the fuck? <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Why would oh, you Dan- say that? I was joking, Danny. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I mean, I I'm already making some watch one of my my all-time favorite shows for the show swap so i'm gonna pick something else and for her i'd want her to watch oh my goddess because it's it's a romance and you know she's not big on romances but i think she would like oh my goddess we read it a little bit um so and for nick i would want him to watch chobits oh now i have a song stuck in my head god damn it (laughs) Let me be with you. <laughs> oh God, that's the only thing I know about it. <laughs> um, I love romances now. I'm just picky about them. Like they gotta be. I know, yeah, you know I know, I mean? but I think you would like it. Yeah. If one of them doesn't know, die at the end, like, it's not a romance. Be. Not as slowly um, becoming. You know what? I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna wait till our show swap so to say it because Nana's like, I'm watching it right now. So, but yeah, yeah. I would love to watch. Yeah, it. It's oh, my slowly God. getting yeah, crappier. And right? then for <laughs> uh, Mike, I think I would want him to watch happy lesson because i feel oh. like that's some if if he hasn't watched it already well, i'm putting it on a note right now happy i lesson. feel like he would like that it's like a it's a harem and stuff oh. but it's 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 cute <laughs> 2002 very good all right yeah uh okay off the top of my head i haven't even seen this one but danny you have to watch dear brother that's from the 90s they read it in Manga Club, um, or Onisama E. Oh yeah, because it's a crazy romance, and you would like that probably. That goes for all three of you, actually. <laughs> That's all I got. I need to watch that one too. That goes for all of us. Give me a taste, Mister Burns. Slaps himself. Wait, so you haven't even seen it? <laughs> I haven't even seen it, but it. I've, it's, it's got to be good. <laughs> That's funny, dude. It's a classic. Okay, what about you, Mike? What would you recommend to you know either us or the Plummet Boys or whatever? <laughs> I'm having a tough time trying to decide. Like, I I know what my meme answer would be. Like, I would make King watch like something like Kodomo no Jinken because I know he would just be like 
his skin would be crawling the entire time watching that. And <laughs> so, like, just seeing him squirm would be a lot of fun. Um, also, well, it's funny because originally I was like, oh, I should make you watch uh, Yosuga no Sora. And then he was like, oh, yeah, I watched it. And I'm like, oh, well, that's a bit of a letdown. Because that's, that's fun. That's based on the visual novel. It's very, uh, it's like... I can't believe this is not hentai, but it does a visual novel thing where it has a whole bunch of different endings, including the last one, which is like it's it's quite the roller coaster. Anyways, um, I think I'm trying to think what would I put probably because there's been a lot of fate hate lately. I'm trying to think what who's, hey, who's would fate be hating? actually. I, I well I I, I me I, I mean yeah him Nick uh, has been leading the charge, but just my co-hosts. I don't know why they've just been like. They, they've just been like, screw that fate. We don't want to hear about it. I'm wow, like, fuck all y'all. How about that? Wow. <laughs> uh, Rin, no, I, I more mean, like, Rin Sukasa, more like, been there, done that, Sukasa. What oh, do you think wow. That? that was huh? good, actually. That was it's Osaka, that was, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh, Sako? I don't See, I don't even know her name. <laughs> God. All right. So you so throw, anyways, you throw fader I, I would I would have to think, I can't think of it on top of my head. Uh, maybe uh, Apocrypha, because it's, I think that's a good self-contained series, and you got Mordred, who's who's hot, and so uh, yeah, maybe that's what I would get him to watch something to and be like, ah, maybe this fake thing's not so bad, you know? Maybe it's not like a giant heap of like I I think people are just like, oh, it's too deep. I don't want to have to learn figure this. Isn't all that out. the show with only the 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 really good fight scene, but then the rest wasn't very good? Uh, I don't know about that. I think it's I think it's pretty good. But I get people... my opinions off of other people. Yeah, I can see. Um, I also thought of another one. Gilgamesh? More like Gilgamush. All right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah, throw the fate around. That's what I would do. Yeah, probably um, throw the fate rather than trying to, like, discuss people. You foughtable. Or no, Apocrypha. You f- foughtable didn't do Apocrypha. No. Uh, I can't remember who did Apocrypha. U- Utiful would be uh, the... The main one. The Endless, Stay Night. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, the, the, yeah, the the second arc, the Rin arc, because uh, Studio Dean did the original one, and oh boy, that's that's they, an interesting. They did the trip. original one, but they like they did like they mixed in UBW and uh, yeah, the Heavens Field. I own the elements D&D in of that. it. Do you? So it confused people, but yeah, five dollars. Actually, actually, no. Now that I think about it, that trilogy, never mind. The Heavens Feels movies are super good. Actually, that that's the perfect solution. It's three movies. Bop, there you bop, bop. go. I still have to watch those. Anyways, yeah, yeah. The, they're it's really really good stuff. And and because it's the OG series, you don't have to know a lot to go into them. You know what I mean? You can because essentially it's based on the original. It's just the third arc of the original vo- uh, visual novel. The third so. route or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 uh, Sakura route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Okay, so there was one. Speaking of good answers, I finally got my show show pitch from Chat GPT. Cheater. Yeah. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I had to type it in a couple times. Yeah, I. You know what, Nick? You want to do Chat GPT? You do that on your own time. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that. There will be no AI in this house. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five people submitted. Uh, Wait, we forgot Waifu in his bando. Oh, sorry. You see, fucking everyone's fucking me up. All right, Danny, go ahead. Do Waifu in his band. <laughs> Waifu is Demon King from uh, Mo- Maoya? Maoyu? Mike, how do you pronounce this? Uh, Maoyu? Yeah, I, Mao I, I, think, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I think it's... Uh... Um, and then Husbando is Yuya Tenjo from... Uh, I got a cheat skill in another world and became unrivaled <laughs> in the real world too. Yeah, um, what a title! Yeah, that's that king. It's that's King's full. moral fiber. The uh, fiber is your friend. Moral fiber uh, character. He's actually like not a, a trash fire main character who's like, uh, slavery's bad, but I'm gonna buy this slave anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which is guy is that? Which one? Which it's one? The, it's the one. It's the one with the eyes that kind of get a little too far apart. The uh, it's, it's was half of them. That's the joke. Uh, uh, I was Black thinking of the gift from uh, from Silicon Valley where Gabe's like, "Which one? Which one?" 
His name is Gabe in that show too. No, I I don't I don't know what his name is, but I call him Gabe because that was his name in the office. <laughs> God, he's just like standing there awkwardly, and like this billionaire comes into the room. He's like, "This guy fucks." <laughs> 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 he's just like such an awkward looking dude, but he actually does. All right, anyway, uh, off topic. So Nick doesn't know actors' names. That's, yeah, yeah, skinny guy. Go ahead. That's nothing new. Yeah. He doesn't even know two uh, D characters. <laughs> I, I'm not much girl. better. That's all you need. Okay, so I'm just going to some of these. They're a little long, like you added extra stuff that we probably won't be able to like say the whole thing. So I'm going to read them because I can, you know, quickly edit them as I'm reading. Um, I was, I was editing them kind of with like you know Google Docs earlier, and I just kind of was like, you know, it'll be fine. I'll just read them. There's Why don't only five you just, here. Uh, just get chat GPT to narrow okay. it down. Please stop. Right. No, like they're, they're already on the verge. Uh, there's people out here already using it to like do their whole podcast for them. And I'm not going to become one of those people. That's, uh, that's why I said, if you want to do that on your own we time, all you will, do that on your own time. We all will. No, no. Our, stop our, it, Nicholas. This is ungodly. Our Look flimsy at your mother's little tears. meat sacks are no longer needed. Okay, anyways. We, we all you do that on your own time. This. You got it. You do that on your Listen, own time. What you want to do in the, the privacy machine. of your bedroom. Okay, so the first one, submitted by Turtle, the Ooh. Turtle, Turtle. Hurdle? The title is... There is no hurdle for Turtle. There's no hurdles for Turtle. That's, that's why it was easy for him to write this one. Now that I can hear, I'll become the world's greatest bard. Studio <laughs> is Studio 8-Bit, directed by uh, Takaomi Kanasaki, um, which, if somebody could search who that is, that'd be great. Uh Sounds familiar? Type it in the chat. Um, <laughs> I'm not typing that. <laughs> uh, number of episodes 13. Here's the plot. Sayuri is an 18-year-old deaf girl who dies in a tragic accident. She's summoned to uh, the reincarnation god's domain, who gives her the ability to hear so they can better communicate with one another. The god decides to reincarnate Sayuri because she was a good person in life, and she has always wanted to play music but couldn't fully appreciate it due, her, due to her disability. The god of reincarnation sends Sayuri to a fantasy world and gives her basic abilities as a bard. Sayuri, Sayuri now known as Cheryl, tries to, hard to live, level up her bard skills and make friends with other adventures. And uh, they described it as, you know, normally these guys have a bunch of cute girls, but this one is just a reverse harem. You know, different guy characters, male characters, teasing Cheryl. And, you know, um, there's other characters. There's Monica, who's become Cheryl's bestie, who's a, a rogue. Theodore, who becomes a cocky knight. There's Carl, who's a mage, but kind of a wuss, um, but he's really nice. Zane, a blind swordsman. Um, and then Cheryl and Moment. Zane have a moment because, you know, they identify with each other about their disabilities and, you know, not all disabled people want to be cured, which I relate to in, like, a, a pretty decent way. I think that's really cool. Um and then Cheryl learns the ins and outs of being a bard and screws up a lot at first. There would be an episode where she tries joining parties but is rejected for screwing up buff spells. And then joins, that's how she joins Monica and Carl's party um, after she plays a song that causes a dragon to poop himself. That's hilarious. <laughs> Anytime someone poops uh-huh. himself, it's really funny. The brown note. The brown, the brown note is what it's called. Yeah, dude. So this is this is pretty cool. Initial thoughts. I think it's pretty cool. And I looked up who Takaomi Kanasaki was. They did uh, Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust, or they worked on it. They did Konosuba. They're currently doing uh, Konosuba Explosion on this wonderful world. Um, yeah, they're the chief supervisor. And director mm-hmm. on the season two of Konosuba. Uh, pretty good. Pretty sweet. So we're, so we're going for a little more fluffy, uh, like a, the, there's some drama, but it's mostly more fluffy, fun uh, isekai sounds like not overpowered, but just like a little more is like slice of lifey. Yeah, guessing. and then it has like those sweet moments. Like I can imagine, mm. I can imagine Cheryl thinking of her previous life, and then talking to Zane because they also wrote there's Zane, a blind swordsman who wouldn't want to see even if it were offered to him. No strings attached. And so, like, he's, like, learned to live his life as a blind person. And Cheryl's kind of like, well, you know, 
I used to like be that, you know, in my previous life or whatever, you know, or maybe she doesn't reveal that to him, you know, who knows, you know, because you know, to him, she's just Cheryl or whatever. But like, I like that'd be cool. I can imagine that being a sweet moment where like she kind of identifies with him and then he kind of is like, you know what, like this is who I am and I'm I'm okay with it. And maybe, well, you know, she realizes maybe I could have been okay with it at some point if I didn't die or whatever. But let me tell you why I like this. Yeah. So you see, there's this target demographic that we don't approach when it comes to Sky. They're called women. I don't know if you know about this, but <laughs> women like trashy things too. So I think I appreciate the fact that this is an anime that might be more appealing to women because it's an untapped market. Okay. Anyways, that was like. And a, then we can and then like we can get in their good trumpet. graces and date them. Yeah. Okay, no. In real life. All right. That time I Listen, got reincarnated back into real creep, life. Please stay away from me. God, Nick. Okay. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Anyway, it's so like... <laughs> I know, it's tough being loveless. It's, it's so tough. I'm is, is Michael Scott and I'm Toby. I'm, just, I'm trying, like, you know what Listen, I mean? Listen, I'm just looking for a good time, okay? But yeah, uh-huh. like, no, I, I agree with what you said. Like, like, you know, us girls like trashy shit too. But then it's, this is like, a, this would be a breath of fresh air. It'd be just a nice, like, easygoing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Also, reverse. We got we like, to pass it or not pass it. Mm, we got to do the Shark Tank. Sorry, thing Mike. Make your last like, point before we. I was about to. Are get, we going to fund this? I was about to get to that, but I was going to let Mike also, finish we his need last more point. Rever- I was going to say we need more reverse harems in our isekais. Let's go. Okay. I say uh, so far. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, also, good representation for people with disabilities. Again, another untapped market. So let's let's. We let's already say... have uh, Silent Voice, right? That's good enough. One movie, Man, yeah. Not, thank that's God. Not, <laughs> that's not okay. So yes, we're gonna get canceled. There are good Dude. animes, but those not isekais, which are what we're talking about. Fucking Nick is like, oh, that's good enough for you guys. So we got yeah. Silent Voice, and you got uh, Interview of a Monster we're Girl. Gonna, we're gonna get there canceled. You go. gonna, that, what's that other one? Someone's gonna clip that one part and then just take take it out of context, and we're gonna get canceled. Okay, uh, Studio Eight Bit, dude. I mean, there's a couple of good ones in here that they've done that were really. Oh, good. we have Boji too. Shit, dude, Ranking of Kings. You know what? Ranking of Kings. Oh, Ranking of Kings. Yes. Oh, that also. Yes. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. See, Nick. Jeez. Yeah. We need more of that. More Boji, mostly. More Boji. Anyway. You leave my son out of this. So Mike is in. I'm in. I'm investing. What's the title of it? Now that I can hear, I'll become the world's greatest bard. The next one. Uh, Wait, I never said if I was gonna pass it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, it doesn't didn't. matter. Wait, you all, you all three pass it. I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the Scrooge McDuck and say no. <laughs> I knew you hated people, women. You're and killing money. You're killing money. What's the clip of them saying that? Anyway, you're killing money. <laughs> um, throwing... Where's the merchandising? Where's the merchandising? And Danny said she was in. I thought she did. She said she was in. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm not much for isekais, but I, this does Danny sound interesting. Danny fails everything. <laughs> <laughs> this does sound interesting, so I give it a the shot. The whole episode is isekais, Danny. <laughs> like, <laughs> Danny's like, I don't really like I these mean, guys. Sorry. <laughs> whatever. Like I said, I'm probably not going to take make too much of a contribution to Danny this. Danny thinks we should take this entire budget. Danny, just pretend, just and, pretend it's not an isekai. <laughs> and put it towards Sojo's. Screw uh, it. Yeah. Okay, so Danny's... A little bit in. A little bit. Uh, okay. She's Just like she's me. Dipping, Giggy. She's dipping. She's dipping her toe in. The the next one. Just a big toe. Was submitted by Kai. Shout out Kai. But he used Chat GPT, and I hate my life. Um. So or GPT four. Hell yeah, dude. Um. Isn't it just, isn't that ge- the generic GPT or am I, is that the paid? One? I don't know anything about that stuff because I refuse to All like right, touch anyway. any of it. So you should know. I, I you know more than well, me. Yeah. You're losing the rat race, Sam. Um. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll be analog all day. You got to get a shitty job like mine that doesn't need Chad GPT. <laughs> I know, right? Um, the <laughs> title is A Chef's Reincarnation Gourmet Adventures in Another World. Studio A1 Pictures, directed by Tatsuyuki Nagai, who did Anthem of the Heart and Anohana and Railgun. Animators would be Yo Yoshinari, Naoko Yamada, yeah, right. Uh, and Yoshiko Umakoshi. Um,. They said, and they said, oh, well, already literally the greatest anime of all time. Composer Yuki Kajira, VAs Kana Hanazawa, shout out, Hiroshi Kamiya, and Ai Kayano. A number of episodes, 24 episodes. Okay. 
the the plot is it looks like the chat GPT wrote down the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna not read the whole entire. See, thing. this is why Kai, you got you got to prompt better. You got to you got to limit the you word. You got to prompt it so it just does elevator pitch. Yeah, we should word word count one seventy. We should have been maximum. more clear with the directions. We will. That's next what I time. did. I did yeah. one seventy. A hard limit on that. Hard limit. Nick, f- we should have specified in our in our instructions. Nick found next out. time we got to get ChatGPT to write our instructions. Nick found out. No, we won't. But Nick found <laughs> out that the killbots had a preset kill limit. And that's how we, <laughs> yeah. we figured it out. Um, wave after wave of my wave own men. Wave of my own men <laughs> through a fine mesh screen. <laughs> <laughs> after an unfortunate accident involving a kitchen fire, Project Chef Tatsia finds himself reincarnated in a fantastic world called Gastroterra. In this world, <laughs> food has magical properties. And skilled chefs are revered as powerful mages. As Tatsuya struggles to adapt to his new life, he discovers that he has re- retained his culinary skills from his previous life. Using his extraordinary cooking abilities, Tatsuya sets out on a journey to learn more about the magical cuisine of Gastroterra and the secrets behind the various ingredients. Along the way, he befriends an ensemble of char- uh, characters, including a mischievous, food loving fairy named Momo, uh, a talented pastry chef named Aya, uh, a wise beast tamer named Daichi, and they form a party and do culinary adventure filled with exciting battles, delicious recipes, and heartwarming moments. Um, comedic moments peppered throughout the series um, while exploring the vibrant world of Gastroterra, uh, participating in high-stakes cooking competitions, trying to find their way out of a maze-like kitchen, various predicaments. The interesting twist comes when Tatia discovers that his reincarnation was not a random event, but a carefully orchestrated plan by a mysterious org called the Culinary Council. The council aims to monopolize the knowledge of magical cuisine, and control Gastroterra. Tati and his friends must confront the Culinary Council and protect the culinary arts, which are the heart and soul of Gastroterra. Through their journey, they learn the secret ingredient to a truly magical dish is the love and friendship they share along the way. LMFAO. <laughs> is what he did. <laughs> okay, not bad for an AI gen thing. Obviously, it you know... It, well, he had to prompt it. He probably put in the words. He probably put in some prompts, yeah, obviously, but like... Like power friendship or something. It did say minor editing and, you know. I don't think, I mean, he put LMFAO after that. I don't know if, I don't know if that meant, like, he laughed at the fact that they thought of that on their own or that he put that in there and then just laughed at his own joke. But, like, (laughs) (laughs) but. No, I I think he's laughing at the AI joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know what? It's not bad. I love, it reminds me of, like, eating Isekai Food Wars, and I happen to love Food Wars. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Twenty four episodes. I don't know if I'd watch twenty four episodes of it. Although that's a lot. For that's a lot like, of episodes, Kai. But, I mean, most of these guys are only Shield, twelve episodes. Was Shield Hero the first season like twenty four episodes? Yeah. Nope. Uh, I just like also it's called Gastro Terra. Like so it's like a gastro pub mm-hmm. on Terra, and Terra is like a word for you know Earth. What? At least it's not named Peter Grill. It's a better name. Peter than that. Grill. <laughs> Oh, I was man. Thinking, Peter Griffin. Griffin. I was thinking of Peter if Griffin. If he was cooking while naked, oh, yeah. it would be so Shield much Hero better. Was, <laughs> Hero was 25 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it's possible for an isekai to have. No, Kai. 24 no, episodes. episodes. Fail. No, I mean, you're right, well, Danny, but like. You could, you could split it into two cores. Like, yeah. You could do like yeah. 12 episodes and no, one I, season. And right. I hear what Danny is saying, but like also for the this this story alone, does it need that? You know, maybe it does. I don't know. You know who knows. This this is a familiar. This this sounds like a lot of other isekais. You know what I'm saying? That's because it's AI generated. That said, <laughs> like I know. That said, it, it's it would get greenlit be, because of that. It's just Listen. iterating off of every other isekai. Lisa, I already got I got I got nine words for you. Campfire cooking in another world with my absurd skill. That's it. We already've had it. Pass. It's not getting my vote. I don't know why. I keep trying to do like a like, Donald I love Trump that voice that you're using. Yeah. <laughs> Donald Trump esque, like yeah, like a huge. You know what I do huge. like in this? The one idea I like is the maze kitchen. That sounds kind of cool. That sounds cool. Like, what if you got to find? If there, was, if there was like that, that was like a whole arc, like the maze kitchen arc. I'd be fucking down for that shit. The dark. Oh, well, yeah, like it's like a. Like I'm in, a, but only like, if we make a maze kitchen at least six episodes. Like a, it's like a competition, <laughs> and it's like okay, well the stove is like. Somewhere over there, but the fridge is over on that side. We <laughs> yeah, gotta like, fucking. You gotta <laughs> get gotta your shit before your ingredients go bad. You gotta whatever, plan like... it. You gotta plan it out, and it's like, it's the whole time. It's like he's still just standing there. It's because it's like, haha! I've already planned out my optimal route. 
It's like uh, you know what I mean. It does the the, the, and then the just shonen like, thing just like where Mashley, it's like he just punches through the maze. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One of the spells is like they can grow ingredients really quick right on the spot. So what if they just like they really figure out it's like oh shit, I'm gonna grow my chilies right here, so I don't have to run all the way to the fridge, even though I memorized the maze at this point. Like I just learned the spell. Boom. Yeah. Uh you know what? I'm I'm kind of in because of the food aspect. Like that'd be really cool. Like I don't know. It's like Food Wars, but in Isekai, and I'm I, I'm into that. So, don't be afraid to fail, it, everybody. I'm I know I'm 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 in. <laughs> I'm, I I already said I'm Song failing it. Song supports AI. I do not. <laughs> also, solidarity with the writers' strike. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah 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 yeah. But actually, fire the bad writers though. You know, fuck them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably. That's like you Can and we me. We both Nick? at the same time. That's know? like you like, and me. Like the well, not just the writers. Fired. You know what? It's not necessarily fire the fire the folks at the very top. You know, like the the anyway. Yeah, fire Stephen you know King. About. Fire that guy. No, not the writers. I'm talking about the the uh, the, the shadowy uh, executives. Fire them. Oh uh, yes. Eat oh yes. Yeah, what are you right, talking you're about? Right. You're right. Like we're but also fire like fire like the bottom ten percent of the writers. Unless I'm playing know? my uh, you my, gotta keep them on my, their toes. My business executive uh, persona, in which case I'm like uh, fuck the working class. Uh, but, yeah, and then uh, uh, the bottom twenty percent, we get to throw tomatoes at them, but they get to keep their job. Okay, don't send a neck. Anyway, so are you guys ten percent fired? Sorry, Danny and Nick, are you guys in or out? I'm in only if the maze is an arc. Like a whole so arc. I'm half in. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll th- they'll negoti- negotiate that out. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll negotiate. What about you, Danny? I just looked up the animators, and I would be interested in what they would do. Dude, it's not going to matter. Yo, yo, Shinari. And Uma- yo, and yo, Shinari. Yeah. Like, Umakoshi, you know. bro. Kai just like fucking like cheated. He kind of cheated a little <laughs> bit. He kind of put like I'd eat cheese. So- so I'd be in if they were split up into two cores. That way, like... All right. Again, we'll, we'll put that in the contract. Two episodes. He kind right. of... Three out of four. And we're going to throw passes. tomatoes at he them. He kind of... Yeah, he kind of put, like, three of my favorite animators. So it's like, I, that's cheating a little bit. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> that's like some Space Jam shit. It is some Space Jam <laughs> shit, dude. Okay, shout out. All right, Zayla. Love you, Kai. Shout out, Zayla. Love you, Kai. Shout out, Zayla. Zayla's submitted one here. The title is Transported to Another World, How My Squire Trained Me to Defeat the Demon King. Studio oh. OLM, directed by Ayum, Ayumu Watanabe. Um, female lead. I, th- I think they name like voiced by Aoi Koga. It's just the yeah, voice Aoi actors, Koga. yeah. The male lead would be Nobuhiko Okamoto. Store by Evan Call. Score. Sorry, it's not store. Score by Evan Call. Number of episodes, 36 to 48, spread between two to four seasons. Okay, he's got he's got high ambitions for this one. the The <laughs> plot is, um, May, which he put as a, as a placeholder name. So like you know, don't know if that's like the last whatever. Is a struggling Doesn't... university student. Her grades are slipping. She can't maintain a steady job. She has absolutely no luck in creating any meaningful relationships. Since getting to university, one night after being let go from her fifth job in a little over a year, she finds herself wondering, "Why do I bother? Maybe I'm just not cut out for this." Anywhere is better, but here, fuck my life. Fuck that old lady next door, in particular, because she sucks. <laughs> Suddenly, a blinding light flashes, and May finds herself in a world not her own. Roderick, which is also a placeholder name, is a squire in the service of the king's army. However, at his age, most squires have graduated their squireship and are usually beginning to forge their own paths as new appointed knights of the realm. What is it that kept Roderick in this position? While his peers have all taken steps towards their perceived destinies, he sucks a little bit, probably. That's what it is. <laughs> May, summoned to the realm of Aurora, I like that name, is supposed is appointed as the Sage Knight, a hero summoned from another world to defeat the Demon King, Alnapar, and his infernal army. Due to lack of squires, Roderick finds himself appointed to serve as May's squire and serve her in any manner necessary. Imagine his surprise when the knight he is charged to doesn't even know how to hold a sword. <laughs> so an unorthodox <laughs> tale of a knight in I'll wait for that. An unorthodox tale of a knight being trained by her squire and, you know, a squire that kinda sucks at being a squire at that, right? They gotta you come suck? Ooh, they gotta... Is the squire named Podrick? No, it's right like in Game of Thrones. Okay, we'll change it to Podrick. If so Nick right. is saying he's in Good. if you change it to Podrick, is what he's saying. Yeah, Podrick, and he has to have a big schlong. Alright. But only implied. You don't you don't get to see, you just you just imply that it is. 
So they got to come together. We got a half-ass squire training this 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 girl who has no idea what she's doing, um, but learns along the way. And they got to defeat the demon king, the Daimao. The Daimao. Is there going to be a bath scene in which she walks in on him and she'll blush because his long is so big? <laughs> She'll be like, what is that? I don't know. She'll be like, what is that towel? She's like, why do you take your sword into the bath with you? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. If if that's the case, I'm in. (laughs) Um, You're not allowed to have weapons in here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, there's guns in this world? I didn't know we could have guns. You want to practice in here too? There's a bazooka. Anyway, what do you guys think? I'm going to say no. I do like the organization in this uh, submission. You can tell Zella put a lot of effort into this. Either that or he hit it with chat GPT and it's just, you know, not telling us, unlike Kai. I think he did it himself, though. <laughs> I think Roderick is a self, uh, uh, self, uh, what's the, what's the word for it? He's putting himself into the series. I'm sure he's, the, Roderick is fit, likes flexing in the mirror. Showing how sexy he is, and I like Zayla, but actually, I don't know what to say. I don't want to say anything mean. So, <laughs> oh, you know what? He way. could teach. He could teach the knight how to hold a sword, but she would accidentally grasp his his dong. His dong. His magnum dong. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bringing his that into this. Like, in Game of, I, I, in listen, Game of Thrones, in Game be, of Thrones, the character Podrick had a big dong. If this okay. is etchy, I'm in, I'm in a hundred percent. Like it's gotta, but it's gotta be because the fact that he stated that the female lead is twenty and the male lead, which is eighteen, tells me that this is ripe for the etchiness. I this is like uh, the gamer show where the girls twenty, right? Yeah, Yamada. But should, Yamada. that's 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 not yeah. etchy. That's that's wholesome. I haven't had sex in uh, four years. <laughs> yeah, neither is Podrick. <laughs> Um, here's what I'm saying, Zayla. I'm with Mike on that one. I'm in if you change it to being this kind of regular isekai that you've presented it as and turned it into... You gotta have other elements. We gotta throw other... We gotta throw an etchy and some other things in here, because as it stands, it's like, they gotta defeat a demon king, whoop de doo okay? whoop de We take, <laughs> we take Podrick's sword, and we make, work that into the comedy somehow. Not his... So I'm a squire. So what? Yeah, I'm a, yeah. Change the title to I'm a squire. What are you doing? What do you want? <laughs> I weld a short sword by the day and weld a long sword at night. If you know what I mean. You do that. Oh, you do that. That's a good, that's a good one. one. That's a good one, Mike. You do that, and me and Mike are in for twenty percent stake in the company. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm out. I'm in for twenty-one percent because I got to be better and, than everybody and else. And his name's got to be what was the name again? Podrick. Podrick. That's uh, that's the other thing. Nick okay. just pulled a Price is Right where you bet $20 and then he goes $21. $21. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Danny? Oh, you said no, right? I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say no. Okay. I'm gonna, it's a lot I'm of episodes, too. It's a That's lot, a lot of, episodes. of episodes. 36 to th- 48? Holy shit. Right. You got to wow me if you want that many no. eps. We need we need an established property for that many eps. And so, Nick, what did you say? You said 21%? You're in for 21 Twenty one percent, but only, we got we got to shave it down to twelve episodes, and then if it's successful, then we keep going, okay? And then we'll keep we'll get, spinning we'll get our, our wheels, money people you know? on it. See if we can get the other forty thirty nine percent. We'll get Dave, we'll get Dave Filoni on this operation. He'll write it. He'll write nice, a story nice for us. One. Maybe there's some foolish venture capitalists in Silicon Valley. We can con all their money. Yeah. Yep. I agree. I agree. Okay. Nice one. Nice one. Good answer. I do like the effort though. This is this is well Good done. Good answer. Good answer. All right. Good. Despite us butchering it. The next one was... <laughs> it was actually well written. Yeah. The ne- yeah, we, we do change it completely and we're in, all right? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so the next one... It was better than the chat GPT one. <laughs> the next one is from Huntertain. Shout out Huntertain. Whenever they pop in the Discord, I always get excited because I'm like, dude, Huntertain is in here. Everyone shut up. I always just say, are you not Huntertain? Are you not Huntertain, dude? <laughs> just say um, title... Being reincarnated as Octopus Coon has its perks. Oh, I'm already in. I love octopuses. I'm already in. Studio PA No, works. you know what? I'm out. PA works. I'm out. Sorry. Damn. Uh, it's going to wow. be like Glass Slip or some boring shit. Glass Slip? <laughs> Come on, dog. I haven't even read it. I'm just kidding. I'm just um, kidding. Toshia Shinohara is the director. 
Other staff, sound director Haru Yamada, producer Yohei Ito, key animation Keuki Rikota, VAs is Miko it- Miku Ito, Tomoaki Maeno, and Chafudin. 13 episodes. Okay. The summary is, in their final year of school, studying to be a marine biologist, Minato Toyama goes off on a boat ride with the rest of their class to examine a strange phenomenon just a mile off the coast. Upon getting there, however, the weather takes a quick turn as Minato is suddenly thrown overboard. She she finally gets helped up. He notices that not only, only are all of his classmates gone, but he's also in a net. Being in unfamiliar territory, he is brought abroad by a longtime fisherman, Tenjiro Yokohama. Also with him is his granddaughter, a first-year marine biologist student named Fujikawa. With Minato now having the body of an octopus, they set off on their goal to find the phenomenon once more in an attempt to get his body back finding many different creatures, biomes, and mysteries along the way that Minato, now referred to as Takokun, teaches Tenjiro and Fujikawa. So, okay, so let me get this straight, right? So he's an octopus now, but he can still communicate with Tenjiro and his granddaughter. And they, he, because he's, like, also studying to be be a marine biologist, he's... Like George Costanza? Why is everything George Costanza with you? That was a great episode. He's a marine biologist. No, he pretended to be to get a, to get a lady. Oh my! God. <laughs> and then he found Kramer's golf ball in the whale's blowhole. Okay. So, anyways. Anyway. How's that for a show pitch? No. <laughs> you're just pitching the Seinfeld. Is what you're doing? You're doing the Seinfeld again. Um, oh, I should have done ChatGPT Seinfeld Isekai. guy. Okay, you do that. You do a solo cast of that. I'm sure the patrons <laughs> would love that. Um, especially King because he loves he loves that shit. Um, no, I'm, you know what? I love octopuses and octopuses. I think, Octopi. I think it'd be really cool if it was like, cause if they can, if, 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 if they, if he can talk to them, then I'm in, right. It'd be cool if he was like, if Minato was like a third year about to graduate and then that shit happens. And now he is all like, you know what I mean? So he knows the most, but he's limited obviously because he's a fucking octopus. But octopuses are fucking smart already too, so it's like holy shit, you know. Oh yeah. I don't know. What so you guys does he think. communicate like verbally, or is it like psychically? That's or, what I was wondering. Like? That's what I was. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, maybe like a slime or something. Maybe they can just understand him. Trying to think, what is that really old? Maybe they get series? ChatGPT to translate. Will you stop? <laughs> Will you stop with the ChatGPT? Fuck. Is this hentai? I need to know if this is hentai. Yeah, if if his tentacles uh, glow, then he's turned on. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know. You know the Dojins, You know people would go. The, the artists at Comic Camp will go nuts with Dojins with this. Well, that's a good. That's a good point. So that kind of that steers me toward this, despite the PA works. Um, despite, I think we can overcome that. <laughs> Just... PA works did buddy daddies. Well, broken clocks right twice a day, Danny. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> um Yeah, dude, you know what? I I don't know, man. I feel like I need more. There's got to be something more. So it's this, I feel like if Disney made this So I appreciate same, that he was concise in his description, but it's not doing enough for me. So it's the same world, and, right? He just became an octopus. I was about to ask like this sounds like they didn't really go to another world. It's just that Ooh, he, good point. Yeah. Technicality. Ooh, it would have well, been cool if he became an octopus in like a watery, like fucking water world. Kevin Costner. And there's a bunch of sea creatures and shit. Avatar: Way of the Water, Way of the Warrior, whatever the fuck that movie's called. And Kevin Costner keeps peeing on him. Taruk That's Maktau. hot. Yeah, Kevin Costner pees on him. So like, if it's the same world, then I, you know what, I'm out. Gotta give me. Thank more. you, Hunter Tain. Thank You've you. entertained us, but this is not an isekai. Sorry, you guys are in or out. You guys are in or out. I'm out. You're okay. fired. You're fired. Wait. Oh, it's the wrong show. What do you mean? <laughs> Just grab him by the pussy. Anyways, <laughs> carry on. China. Uh, anyway. Yeah, huge. Sorry, sorry Hunter. This Tain. will be huge. Okay, Noxos. Shout out Noxos. Noxos is really cool. Every time I see Noxos in the Discord, I'm like, hey. Wimp, wimp, what it do, what it do. <laughs> um, title, that time I got reincarnated as myself. 
Is someone, is he mocking us? I hope he's not mocking us. <laughs> yeah, you saying I'm fat? What is that supposed to mean? Studio Shaft <laughs> director. They just put Shinbo. So I, I could use Shinbo. I think obviously. Um, summary plot: Satoru Kun falls prey to f- to fan death while vacationing in South Korea. After South Korea, Korea, after he refuses to go out raving with his extroverted friend, he finds himself reborn in a world populated entirely by male neets and is disappointed to find he is exactly the same as before. This new <laughs> world's economy is on the brink of collapse as everyone is too anxious to leave their homes. Most spend their days interacting with a mysterious VTuber lady procrastination. Will Satoru be able to uncover the secret of this world before he too succumbs to her siren song? That's interesting. How hot is lady procrastination? That's why I don't know. How hot, yeah, right, is she hot? right, yeah. Uh, she's a New York six. <laughs> Nick, you been to New York? No. Oh my god! But I know what a New York six looks like, <laughs> and that's a Midwest eight. What I the don't know. Fuck? Gosh. Nobody listens to Nick. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't even know. I'm attracted to everything. Everyone's attending me all the time, so I don't fucking. I can't relate. I don't know what that is. Is she hot though? That's what I want to know. Because if she's hot. Luke. This could be interesting. A VTuber. So you know what? People might not like this we one. We won't even know what we won't even what is know what she, looks, what she actually looks like, you know. Here's the thing. People might not like this one because they could relate to it too much. They could be like, wait a second, this is a mockery yeah, this of is, me. This is this is this is, this is a little <laughs> this is I, I think this is like a statement on society or something. I don't want that. Um, Statement about something. That was terrible. I made a generalization about weebs and shit. No, like... Um, You're right, though. <laughs> God, fucking it. <laughs> no, no yeah. I, I find... <laughs> like, literally, I feel like I'm the last fat weeb, honestly. Like, I feel like... The, Wait, what big, are you talking about? There's there's a lot of... I, I see more and more, like, fit Have weebs been outside? out there. Yeah, actually. Well, I, I have know. to work outside. I'm just yeah, saying, we got a lot of obesity in, in the world right now because of yeah, big, they're not, they're big not porn an, subsidies and they're, whatnot. They're, they're not anime fans. They're like, they're they're God-fearing, gun-toting, You ever been to the South? Yeah, exactly. I either. But, but they're not watching, trust me, they're not watching anime. Except for, uh, what's that one? Incest anime. You know what I'm talking about, Sigiri. All right, anyway. Well, they're, 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 they're living their own incest anime. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. The South is real people. All right. The South will rise again. <laughs> Nick, you're, um, you're striking out, man. I just need you to bring it in. <laughs> North we're, supremacy. We're, 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 let's keep digging this hole. Let's keep digging. Um, we'll get somewhere. Yeah, no. Don't encourage I him. prefer snow. Um, anyways, you know. I, too, also like Skate the Infinite Snow. <laughs> I. Uh, what were we even talking about? <laughs> Oh, this is Noxos's reincarnated. Okay, I like forgot. Again, okay. I appreciate the the appreciate the respect of our time by giving us a very short summary, but I don't think it's super well thought out. And uh, it I sounds like too I, close to the real world. I feel like you're it making fun of me because like... a I like to have my fan on when I'm sleeping. So what are you saying? It's going to kill me just because <laughs> that's what they believe? And b I also refuse to go out because I'm introverted. <laughs> So, get it off my site. I don't want to see it. God damn it, dude. I want, to, I want Chattacus Thundercock to be my isekai protagonist, okay? I don't want myself. I don't want to look in the mirror. Okay, give me Podrick. Give me, uh, I would bring say, back Podrick. I would say I think, I think you would be reincarnated as a different person, but the personality you have would be your same personality. That's how it always goes, though. <laughs> That's the thing. Except their personality is they happen to know everything about like military strategies and how to use weapons and everything. Yeah, they know the exact engineering to recreate vehicles yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I can create an entire society as a slime. <laughs> I, I know how to do everything. Hmm. All right. Okay. This one, I'm... it's an interesting concept. I think it could work. We just got to flesh it out more. We got to brainstorm it more. I don't know exactly what I'm getting into here. Yeah, you didn't hook me in. I'm I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, I don't know if I'm out too. I like the concept. I like the concept, but I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't. I don't like burning money though. Where's the Where's the merchandising coming from? Where's the merchandising? 
Is there is there a cute girl in here at least? This v- is, this sounds I like a guy. Okay, I maybe s- if it was a girl, you know. I assume the VTubers elicits a man portraying. Oh, you know what? The, v- the VTuber could be could be something. She could okay, be the wife of the something. week. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see. What about you, Danny? Uh, but oh, sorry, Nick. But, sorry, uh, Nick, not with ahead. my money. We won't see. Okay. With your money, maybe. So not Nick. Okay. What about you, Danny? Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna say no on this. I feel like it needs a little bit more. Okay. You gotta hook us. Who did we say yes yet. to? Uh, turtles. And I said yes to Kai's a little bit. And I said yes to. We said yes to a butchered version of Zella's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we edited the crap out of it, and they're like, "Yes." <laughs> yeah. So I would. I yeah. I feel like I need more. Two and a half. A little more. A little more. Yeah. Uh, Mike, what do you think? You got the last uh, pacho on this one. No, I'm a pass. We will not be. Uh, I will not be wasting money on this this endeavor at this time. If it's workshops a bit, maybe uh, you know some more TNA. We can talk. More TNA. <laughs> All right, that was the last one. Thank you for those who submitted. That's hilarious. Thank yeah. you so much. I like these for the most part. Um, thank you, thank you. That was very fun. Glad to have Mike on here. Okay, real quick. I got a quick pitch of my own. I think Danny's got one too. Mike's got one too. I don't know if Nick has one. I got a quick one. I got a quick one. Here's here's okay. Here's my idea for the fucking show. All right. <laughs> Here we go. It's this. Okay. And by the way, just want to preface this. I should have said this in the beginning. If any of the these ideas become a thing, whether a Japanese property or a Western property or whatever the fuck. I'm going to know that you stole it from here and we're suing you just so you know. Okay. <laughs> we're going to we're going to send the Nintendo ninjas after you. Including <laughs> our su- my my uncle works for Nintendo. I don't think my father, the inventor of toaster strudel. No, Pinkerton. We're going to send Pinkertons. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll send the Pinkertons after you. Uh yeah, we're going to sue you. That includes any copying any of the submissions or ours. Okay, anyways. This is what happens. This person, I don't care what gender they are. They fucking get doesn't matter how. They just fucking die. Okay, truck coon, whatever. And they go in front of a god, and the god is a really hot, thick waifu. And she's like, hey, you're super sexy. Tell you what, I'm going to give you this thing that I've been holding in my bra for 15 years. I've been waiting for someone hot to come along to give it to you. And then the character's like, okay, cool. I think you're hot too. Let's do it. And then they do it. And then... The god gives them the scroll, and the scroll says you get ten times to reincarnate into whatever world, property, franchise that you've consumed in your life. So whether it's they played a video game or uh, watched an anime or watched a TV show, whatever, you get to reincarnate yourself at any moment, at any gender, at any age in that world. It doesn't matter what time it is in that world or whatever the fuck. Or actually, it does. It'd be whatever, it'd be whatever time is it is in that world, right? So, like, for, 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 for argument's sake, if they reincarnated themselves as a 20-year-old lesbian in the show The L Word, in the first season it was, like, 2002 or something, right? 2003. So it would be 2003 in that. You know what I mean? And they get to do it ten times. After the last time they do it, then they have to go to heaven, or then they have to be, like, dead. It's over, right? So they get to do a retry if they don't like the new one. So you, they could literally do this. So if it was you, Danny, you could be like, okay, I want to be reincarnated in Breath of the Wild as a 20-year-old. As a Korok seed. As a, Kor- oh, no. a 20-year-old Korok seed, whatever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and then you live your life however long you want or however little short along you want doing whatever the fuck you want and then you pull out the scroll again you got nine more times you do it again you could literally mm. you could literally so i can off myself if i don't like you could the you literally have 10 lives to live so it's like a cat yes however how except 10 lives not nine. And, and then you can you can jump to where whatever property you've like consumed so like you yeah. could you could reincarnate mm-hmm. yourself in some random like 
romance show like My Love Story that takes place in Tokyo and just be like a person living in Japan. It would just be in that time. So whenever that show came out or whenever that show takes place, it would just... And then you could literally live the rest of your life in there. And then when you're about to like keel over, you could pull out the scroll again, do it a third time. And this would have to be like a fucking four or five season show. Like, it would have to be super long. Mm. Mm. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be a cool ability, dude. Mm-hmm. You could do you could do Back to the Future. You could be Marty McFly. Back to the Future. Yeah. Or you could It's kinda like if if a recreators was an actual isekai, instead you're going to all these different Yes. Uh, fictionalized worlds basically. Or even like re life as well. Re life is similar to like just yeah. Redoing life. So if anyone takes that idea, I'm suing. Okay, anyways, who's who's got another pitch? Well, we got to accept or deny your oh, pitch. Oh, yeah, sorry. So. Are you in or out? Deny. I like Give it. Me money. I... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, Sam's my boss, so uh, of Sam's course. my boss. It's the best idea <laughs> because ever. Because of the implication, and, uh... we have to say yes. <laughs> Be honest. I think it will make millions. All right, Mike's in. What's the name of it again, Sam? Oh, I don't know. I didn't think of a name. Reincarnated... Failed. Reincarnated right. whatever the fuck I want. What oh. fucking whoop to do? What do you want? No, Sam. Reincarnated as a sword. I re- I reincar- I'm name. reincarnated whatever the fuck I want to do, all right? You, you know thing. what, Sam? If, if you put sword in the title, then I will I will allow it. Okay, reincarnated as a sword one time, and then after that, I do whatever the fuck I want. Whoop to fucking do, all right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? So what? That's a realistic title length, too. <laughs> all right, what about you guys? You guys got one? Quick one? Quick one? I'll All go. Right, Mike, I'll Mike. Go. Oh, Danny. Okay. So the title for mine is My Tale as a Magical Girl. Studio Dogokobo. Director Jinichi Sato. And number oh. of episodes is 13. Um, <clears throat> ever since Kana was a little girl, she has always wanted to be a magical girl. However, that is, that is in fact difficult when you live in reality. While reading her favorite Magical Girl manga series one night, she noticed a shooting star that could be seen through her window. It was quite bright, and it fell at a nearby shrine near her house. Uh, Upon investigating uh, and walking up to the quote-unquote star, Kana noticed it wasn't a star at all, but a creature of some kind, and it was holding a crystal. Kana got up close to the creature and grabbed the crystal. Upon grabbing it, Kana was automatically transported, along with the crystal and the fuzzy creature. Flying in a new world, what it would seem to look like Tokyo, only there were some very different scenery, but it's definitely not Tokyo. Uh, Kana is now facing a new world altogether, not not really knowing uh, what will happen, and uh, the fuzzy creature named Poe to guide her in the new world where an evil queen rules. That's that's it. Okay, I'm in for 20% if you make everyone naked. <laughs> oh, God. The <laughs> transformations, they will be naked. I'm second. I'm seconding that. Oh, they have magical only- girl transformations? Double soul. Yeah. Does yes. one of them have yes. a, an overly large backpack? Like that Korok seed. Um, <laughs> he's obsessed with Tears of the Kingdom right now. <laughs> just inserting my. How about this? Crap. I'll have I'll have the fuzzy creature Poe, uh, um, being struggle struggling with a with nice. a huge backpack. I'm in. I'm in. I want it completely wholesome, except for the transformations, which are going to be oddly sexual. Otherwise, <laughs> everything else children appropriate, and I'm in. <laughs> That sounds like every anime, Mike. <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? <laughs> Not me. I would say it'd be a little bit more adult-ish, so there okay. will be blood. Some you've, blood. You've twisted my arm. <laughs> That's funny, man. That's funny. Um, okay. I do. So I literally thought, okay, hold on, hold on a second. I was going to say, who else has one? Hey, wait, wait a second. Hold on. I'm the one in church. Okay, Michael, come here. This is my, this is my nephew, Michael. He's got an idea. Come here. Okay. So, uh, so Mike, I don't have to do, keep doing that voice. Um, all right. So I came up with this idea just on the spot right now. And, uh, I'll explain to you what the inspiration was after this, but it's going to be, it's a firefighter 
okay, that ran into a burning building to save a bunch of people, but in the, in the process and uh, expiring due to smoke inhalation and all that kind of stuff. And he gets reincarnated into a Victorian world, uh, like a city like San Francisco or London or something like that. And there he's found he's he's destined to become a fire mage. So this is not like a historical accurate Victoria era. This is sort of like a more mis mythical or not mythical, like mystical and uh, fantasy sort of based Victorian era. And he's meant to be this fire mage. And these fire mages are important because they help in the battle against these vampires that are trying to take over the world. But he hates the concept of using fire to destroy it. And basically the, the, the battle's been so fierce that he sees that the world is being destroyed around him with, in the attempts to keep these vampires at bay. And so instead he rejects this fate that has given him saying you must become this fire mage to fight the vampires that go no someone has to we need a world afterwards to live in once we defeat these vampires instead i'm going to advance firefighting technology using the skills and knowledge i have from the previous world and the real catch is this guy is going to just be swole he's going to have titties for days I'm and in. He's it's because the the <laughs> fire and everything. He's constantly hot and having to take open open up his shirt a little bit and take stuff off. And man, he needs to take showers. And eventually, he gets say this no crew more. I'm in. Of various other types of men, and it's very homoerotic. And I'm in. Uh, yeah, it's a BL. <laughs> I'm in. A, isekai BL. I'm in. Yep. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. You don't have to. And you don't have to keep uh, telling it to me. I'm in. <laughs> that's uh, that's essentially the story. We where does the guy play a role? We can see how well it goes. Um, where, where is Fry? The Fry gift. Take my money. Shut up. Money. You can you can sell uh, you can sell cod pieces as merchandise. Yeah, dude. Well, it, like, and you, I can already see the figure right now where it's just like, uh, like this sort of like Victorian esque firefighting suit. It's like half coming down, and this chest is just, you know, like. Uh, glistening with sweat and he's looking so tired and exhausted you know uh, while taking this off and it's just like the end of fighting and spending all day fighting all these fires that are caused in order to beat back these vampires nice <laughs> nice one I don't have studios or anything like that because I just thought I didn't head. either. Yeah, I, that's okay. Anyways, I had I had Tamaki from Fire Force so, next to me here, and that's why. <laughs> hey, inspiration. That's, that's why I was like a firefighting isekai. There we go. Anyways, so Nick, did you have one or no? <laughs> yeah, I did. I got a crappy chat half chat GPT. It's more like crap GPT because I inserted my crap in. Okay, anyway, okay, so that's right. all we have for today. Here we go. Studio Madhouse <laughs> da -da -da -da. director Suramaki Kazuya, and he did uh, some. St he did uh, Die Buster. He helped with Evangelion and a bunch of other shit. Uh, anyway, yeah. So here we go. Madhouse Suramaki Kazuya. After perishing in a freak gasoline fight accident, two young girls get reincarnated into a magical sea realm. Uh, Yumi, a determined and adventurous girl, and Hana, or Hana, a gentle and compassionate soul, defy societal expectations as they embark on a forbidden love affair. And these girls are like, they're probably like 11 years. Now, you will say they're about Shinsuke Yori age, you know, about 10, 11 years old. Uh, okay, anyway. However, their bond is tested when a colossal malevolent force in the form of a giant killer shark threatens to tear them apart. As they fight for their own love and survival, they must navigate treacherous waters and confront their own fears, unravel the mysteries of their extraordinary connection before they're forever separated by the jaws of destiny. And uh, that was that was mostly ChatGPT that wrote that. The title is uh, Portrait of a Lolly on Fire. No. Uh, no. And uh, the tagline no. is, In the ocean, no one can hear you scream. No. Nope. No. <laughs> Come on! I, I nope. sorry, I slept for that, but I heard something about lolly. <laughs> God, you got Michael so, lollies. It's, wait, I'm right, in, I'm right in the ocean. No one can hear you scream. No. <laughs> All right. All right. Come on, people. Nope. It's pretty good. You can sell merchandise. You can sell sharks. You can sell 
uh, little little figures. You yeah, know? I could sell merchandise. The lollies with the spit string. I could them. sell merchandise of my butt hair. That doesn't mean I do it. You know what I mean? Like, just come on, dude. Oh. And maybe if you were, oh, what's her name, Bella, something or other. Anyways, who's that British Some girl? Some butt hairs. I'm. I'm. I'm How expensive I'm, I'm, they're I'm going out. for? I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Let's. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I'm in. You didn't like my lollies? alien I'm in. callback? Mike's in because of lollies. Go. Yeah, okay. You know, and, and you know what they say. Uh, uh, never mind. Nope. Just, just what did, go. What did they say? No. A lolly no. day keeps the... No. It wasn't even going to make sense. <laughs> keeps the, what do you mean? What do you, the police are pounding on the door. What do you mean? Okay, Tell anyways. Me, hold on a sec. <laughs> God damn it. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike and Nick. Uh. All right. Sorry. What? Yeah. What? What? A, anyways, <laughs> I've plummetized. I plummetized this episode. Let's put it that way. You guys are bitches. Um, thank you for all the submissions. That was really fun. Um, of course, this is all fake. I don't got any fucking money. All right, fuck off. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. But those are some of the good ideas. Some of them, you know, pitch me again. I need some. I need to you know, rework it a little bit. Maybe, you know, maybe maybe it needs more butts in it. Who knows? Okay. So that being said, thank you, Mike, for coming on the summit. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, um, sorry. Of course, whenever one of the plummets come over here, or one of the summits go over there, they'll be uploaded to both feeds with the corresponding podcast like thumbnail art, so you know where it came from. Um, so that way you can, if you you know, if you got both feeds on, then it doesn't matter anyway. Right? You get them two times, two times. So that being said, I will make sure Mike has that to upload on their feed as well. Uh, I love you guys very much. Again, Mike, thanks for coming on. We got more of the Plummet Boys coming on later on. I'm, I'm plucking at them. I'm plucking. I'm going you, 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 and you. That's what I'm doing. You know, we had, I'm not that Mike guy. Forget him. We had King and, and Shizmo. And then we had uh, Mike just now. And now we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have Ed soon. I won't tell you for what. We're going to have Ed on soon. I haven't had Ed on in a long time. Last time I had Ed on, we, he did a newscast with me. And all I did was fucking talk over him. And I was like, I listened back to him. And I was like, God, I'm such a fucking idiot. So next, when I bring the newscast back, we're going to have Ed on again. Just have Ed take the lead on that one. Because, you know, shout out, Ed. Anyways, that being said, I love you guys very much. You guys have been great. Thanks for listening every week. I love you. I love you just the way you are. I've been Sam. That's been Nick. That's been Mike. That's been Danny, and we've been the Anime Summit Podcast.